any time of day. The General Store on 24 is located on Route 24 in Lewis. Headlines, headlines you can't get through your day without. Um, Power 1017. All right, Jess, what you got? All right, so a sad situation. A film crew member has died and another was injured after actor Alec Baldwin discharged Mm. a prop firearm on the set of the movie Rust in New Mexico yesterday. This is according to law enforcement statements that are being provided to CNN. Director of photography, Hala Hutchins, 42, was transported to the hospital via helicopter and pronounced dead by medical personnel at the University of New Mexico Hospital. Also, director Joel Suez, 48, was transported to St. Vincent's Regional Medical Center by ambulance for care. Details on his condition were not released but a sad situation happened yesterday. Actor Alec Baldwin wow. discharged a prop firearm on the set of the movie Rust in New Mexico yesterday. Mm, so, he was distraught. There's a picture of him. It is trending online. He's in the parking lot outside of Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office after being questioned about the shooting on this local movie set. And he's just so, so upset. You can just look at the picture and tell. He's just devastated. Wow. That's crazy. So it appears, the investigators say that it appears that the scene being filmed, it involved this prop firearm. Right. And it, like, discharged. And detectives are investigating how, what type of projectile was discharged. That's what I was looking up when you say prop gun. Like, what kind of ammo was it? Was it a dart? Was it an arrow? Was, you know, what was it? Yeah. It's a prop on a movie set. And it discharged. I mean, I hate to ask this because obviously, I can't even imagine. I'm sure it was a mistake and all this. But does anything happen to Alec Baldwin now? I mean, did they try to charge him or like I don't what know. happens? He, like I said, he is, um, you know, being questioned by investigators. He is cooperating, you know, with everything. The detectives say that they, you know, are still trying to figure out what type mm. of projectile it was, and um, it remains open. And an active investigation and no charges have been filed. Okay. So. We'll definitely be following this story. That's crazy. I know. So sad. Also, uh, COVID cases. The Delta wave of the COVID-19 pandemic appears to be easing in the U.S. This is some good news. An average 79,000 new cases per day were reported as of October the 19th. And that's a drop of 22% over the previous two weeks. The deaths have fallen by 14% during that same period. The numbers are expected to decline further through the next few weeks. Nice. Okay. Now, partial human remains were found earlier this week in Florida at the Wilderness Park. And it has now been confirmed by the FBI that it is those of Brian Laundry, the fugitive that has been on the run in the murder of Gabby Petito. She was found dead in a remote area of Wyoming after going on a road trip with him. And now it has been confirmed that the partial human remains are his. Um, WFLA was on it. They were. I was telling you. Yeah. The guy, they, they get he like said a, follow them. They get like a million views. It's crazy. Follow WFLA. Uh, wow. My wife kind of put me on to it. Mm-hmm. But the guy, JB, and he's got another um, co-host that comes on with him. But basically, they go on live. Like I'm showing you here, Jess, off yeah. the air. And he just talks mm-hmm. for hours. They just go on and, you know. Just about the investigation. Any yeah. details that they have, any questions. 23-year-old Ryan Laundry, The only person of interest in Gabby Petito's death is dead. Confirmed by FBI Denver in a release on Twitter moments ago, the human remains discovered at the Carlton Reserve here on Wednesday belong to Brian Laundry. Hey there, everybody. JB Buno here with you on WFLA Now, oh, our second JB. stream here today on WFLA. He's our guy from right here on Delmarva. Okay, JB. What? Yeah, that's JB. He used to be here. What are you talking about? He used to live here on Delmarva. Shut up. Yeah. He's one of ours, y'all. Shut up. Yes. What are you talking about? He used to work here on Delmarva. Where? WBOC. Yes. Are you kidding? No, we used to hang out. I went to his party. Come on now. (laughs) Friends. Are you serious? Yes. He's like famous from this. That's wonderful. I mean, he was already famous, no, that, obviously. This must be like, no, no. A big break. No, that's JB. He he kind of created this whole thing with um, going on that's here. That's awesome. I mean, not with this situation, but awesome for him and his career. And now, and of course, we told you we would be back here live with any 
Breaking developments here in the Gabby Petito, Brian Laundry story, and we now have a confirmation that Brian Laundry is dead. Gabby Petito is dead. It all, of course, now comes back to the Justice for Gabby calls online, the Justice for Gabby calls that you heard yesterday at the conclusion of the FBI press conference here at Myakahatchee at the Carlton Reserve. Are we any closer to getting justice for Gabby? Will we ever get answers? Where are we on seeking the truth? Let's get to the release that came in from the Department of Justice and the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the Denver office here a short time ago. And I'll read it here as follows. Again, you can find it on the FBI Denver account on Twitter. And it reads, on October 21st, 2021, a comparison of dental records confirmed that the human remains found at the T. Mabry Carlton Jr. Memorial Reserve and Myakahatchee Creek Environmental Park are those of Brian Laundrie. The FBI is grateful for the tremendous investigative support from our partners, Northport Police Department, Sarasota Police Department, Jackson Police Department, Charlotte County Sheriff's Office, Lee County Sheriff's Office, Sarasota County Sheriff's Office, Teton County I can't County believe you know Sheriff's this guy. Office. Teton County you do too. Rescue, How do I know him? Florida He's Wildlife a local guy. National Park <laughs> you know Service everybody the over there at BMC. Forest Service. The title of the document. All of our go-tos. Found at Carlton Reserve confirmed as those of Brian Laundry, And then, of course, all the necessary information there at the header of this release. Brian Laundry uh, confirmed to be deceased. Let's all kind of break down where this all happened and how we got to this point. Chris and Roberta Laundry, Brian's parents, go out to the Carlton Reserve yesterday, that being Wednesday, October 20th. According to Stephen Bertolino, the attorney, they go out and it is with law enforcement. There are cameras there present, uh, images that of course have been making the rounds on social media. Chris and Roberta Laundry go to an area that Brian is believed to have been in, a, in, a, in, a, in the past and an area that is believed to have been underwater previously due to all of the precipitation that fell on the Carlton Reserve over the month of September. We showed you the aerials. It was a swampy wetland as far as rural Sar Sarasota County, the wilderness there in rural Sarasota County at the Carlton Reserve. They go there yesterday. Chris Laundry, Brian's father, discovers a silver dry bag, a, a dry bag that he grabs there's video of him, images on social media of him holding this bag. It's brought to the attention of law enforcement. They focus on this area nearby is also found. a backpack is discovered. A notebook is discovered as well. In that area, human remains are found. As we found out yesterday from law enforcement sources, originally it was partial human remains. It was then confirmed to be skeletal remains later on today. And now we have the information here from the FBI that it was a comparison of dental records, not DNA, but dental records that confirmed that the human remains that were found Wednesday morning are that of Brian Laundrie. So there you go. But yeah, no, he goes on. He's been going on like almost every day and that WFLA has gotten so big. I, I went on their YouTube because they go live on YouTube and on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And he's like the head of this whole social media. But they, they've got they get like a million, a million, all, all different countries, a million people wow. watching this. Good for him. He did it. That's crazy. That's he wanted. I didn't Scotty know. Scotty Tuhati, Mikey Lichniak, <laughs> Bill Mitch, JB, the whole crew. Okay. All right. Yeah, Chloe, all of them. Everybody was there. No, he did. He's he's yeah. this guy's doing it. Yes. But I remember. Um, well, we also have our, our boy Charles Watson, who's now at Fox News. Yes, that's what I mean. You know? I remember we have when D. He Sawyer, was, you know, who's down in Florida I know, as well. And that's the same. Yeah, Sean Stryker, Maxine, all of them. They yeah. all decided to go, you know, to bigger mm. markets, which is fine, and they have made my it. boy Jason Newton, who's working at WBAL, by the way. Yeah, great. Yeah. Yeah, no, they're doing it. There's a lot of talent here on Delmarva, and then they move on to the next There's big market. There's so many people all across the yes. country who have, have gone and, and big and made it big. They're, if, if you who, think of your favorite national news person, mm -hmm. most likely they've worked on Delmarva at one right. point. Right, <laughs> I know. I it's know, so or they crazy. had some kind of connection or tie yeah. here. Yes. Yeah, yeah.
Yes, or a mentor or someone. We live in here, a help wild them area, where guys. they are. Yeah. 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 That's why so many people flock to this area because yeah. they love it so much. Yeah. And then when you talk to them about it, they're all like, oh, I love uh, I love Ocean City. Oh, yeah. I, I love Rehoboth. I love the and beach. And they always consider this home. Yes. Yeah. They probably still come back on vacation yeah. here. A lot oh, of them. Oh, they do. Yeah, because they love it here so much. Yeah. They just want to be in like a big market if you're in this kind of mm-hmm. industry. You know what I mean? Nowadays with radio and even TV, you can do it wherever though and then syndicate wherever. Yes. That's like the new yeah. thing because it's all online and streamed and internet yeah. and all this. You don't have to necessarily move all the time. So, wow. wow. So that's where he made it. That's where he finally ended up. Oh, he's, yeah, he's huge. I don't even know if we could book him. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, no, wow. no. He's huge. Well, do you, do you know him, know him? Can you like reach out? I mean, it's been a while since like we've spoken. Well, let's try to get him on the show. Hang out. He had a few parties in Lewis. We went there. What? Yeah. Oh yeah. My uh, my wife and daughter watch them them guys all all the time. Yeah. When it comes to this case. JB. Yeah. Did it? They go on. They they answer Twitter questions, Facebook questions. They're on for like one day. They were on for six hours, just going back and forth. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I'll reach out to him, but I know that, like, Mikey Lichniak, we can get a hold of him. I know that they're all still connected and friends. Like, they're better friends with him than I was. Yeah. I was just part of, like, the crew. And no, was that's just, awesome. like, invited, you know. No, that's good. That makes, I'm but excited now. Like, no, that's great. You know, they all continue to be great And they all worked at BOC. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Well, there you go. Yeah. But I heard his name. I'm like kind of watching. I was like, wait, that's JB. Wait, let me. That's JB. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's 649. I know we, you got some other stuff to talk about. Let, let's get into it next. All right. Wale Angles. Good morning.